welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about the structure of the nephron. In each kidney inside the human body, there is about 1 million nephron in each kidney. So, the structure of the nephron looks like this. So, it begins with this capsule here, it's called Bowman's capsule. A cup-shaped, thin-walled, or a double-walled uh, Bowman's capsule. In, inside this capsule, the blood vessels enter the nephron. These here, this is not mentioned in the book, but they are called glomeruli. Glomeruli. So the blood enters through the Bowman's capsule inside these loops here in order to be filtered and the urine is excreted. In order to be filtered, and the urine is uh, excreted. In order to be filtered, and the urine is extracted. So, this uh, first loop is called the first loop, or the first coiled. Tube. The first called tube. The second is called Hennel's loop. Hennel's loop. And as we can see, it's U shaped. It has the shape of an U. Then we have the second coiled tube. Then, after the blood is filtered, it, uh, the urine enters through this duct, which is called the collecting duct, and it collects the urine. So, Bowman's capsule, first loop, Hennel's loop, second loop, then the collecting duct. We can see that the structure of the loops here kind of resembles an M or in the McDonald's uh, logo, for example, it resembles this uh, structure of the loops here. So after the urine is collected and it goes through the collecting duct, the collecting duct opens through the pelvis of the kidney. Here in the kidney, we see that this part here here we said that there is the this is the medulla and this is the cortex and the nephrons are found here. The first part in the cortex and the the lower part is in the medulla. Here is the collecting duct. So, when the urine goes through this collecting duct, it falls into this pelvis area of the kidney, and then it goes through the ureter, which opens at an inclined position here into the urinary bladder.
there is a sphincter muscle which controls the urinary bladder. It closes the opening of the urinary bladder until the urine accumulates inside it. Then uh, it opens, allowing the urine to be expelled outside the urinary bladder through this duct, which is called the urethra. So this was the structure of the uh, nephron. The next time we know how the urine is extracted from the blood and until then I thank you for watching and see you.